Okay guys, welcome back. Now is the time to create your YouTube ad using Google AdWorks, okay? Here we are on adworks.google.com. And this is the, the view that we had in the last video when we created the first ad. So now we go to campaigns here at the top, click on campaigns. And in this second menu here, you see campaigns, ad groups, settings. If we click on ad, if we are right now on ad groups, so we cannot add a new video here we basically need to create a new campaign. So go to campaign here, click on new campaign and select the video. Excellent. This is very similar. Some of the fields will be very similar to the one that we just created in the past video. Okay. Campaign name. Let's add here YouTube ad for Facebook retargeting. Of course, I recommend it to use a super descriptive description for you. So when you see it, on your dashboard, you identify and you know exactly what is this about. The type, we have a video campaign, of course, we can change it if you want, but it's not the case because now we are creating one for YouTube. And you can have the option here, standard, add driving views, awareness and conversions, or you can drive mobile app installs if you are promoting your app. Or if you have an online store, of course, you can choose, choose the shopping one, okay? Next, we can set import uh, settings from other campaigns that we have. In this case, we are not doing that. Okay, the video ad format, we have two options, in-stream or video discovery. This is basically, remember when you go to YouTube and you see an ad and you can jump the ad after five seconds. So you can say, okay, wait five seconds and click on jump and you go straight to the video that you want to see. And the discovery ads are the one that people that when people search on, on YouTube, they are on youtube.com and they search for keywords, the ad, the discovery ad will be the ones that show at the top as an ad. Okay. The second option is the bumper ads. These are ads similar to the in-stream, but the, the difference is that they cannot jump your video. They cannot jump after five seconds. They want they need to watch the whole video before they watch the video that they want to watch. You know what I mean? But the only requirement here is that the, this video needs to be six seconds or less. So if you have a super short video that have a great call to action, you can use that if you want. In this case, we are using the in-stream video. Okay, on the bidding session, we have here the manual mode, the maximum cost per view. This is the maximum you are paying per view. So if they are on YouTube and your ad shows and they jump your ad, they are, you are not paying anything. You pay only if they watch 30 seconds or more of your video. Okay. Of course, if your video is shorter than 30 seconds and they watch all the video, you are also paying this amount. You are paying up to this, depending on the bidding and how many people are bidding for that specific keyword. Okay. Next, we have the delivery method. Uh, let me expand this. You can have the standard show ads ev evenly over time, or you can choose the accelerated. I recommend you the standard for now. The next word, you, the networks, you have the YouTube search, YouTube video and video partners on display network. For now, because it's the first one, I recommend you to select only YouTube. Okay. So you will have YouTube video or YouTube search or only YouTube videos if you want. Locations here, you know this, you can define the locations of your target audience. We talked about this in last videos, the language of your target audience too. And this will deliver, this device, this ad will be delivered by default in all these specific devices, computer, mobile, and tablet. This is by default. And for now, in this specific ad, we cannot change that. You have also the advanced settings. If you want, you can add a schedule, start date, end, end date of your ad, the ad delivery. You can set the impressions and all that if you want. For now, we click on save and continue and we will move to the next section here so we can finish the video. Here we have the ad name group. I will leave it like that. You can rename your ad name. Now we have the your YouTube video here. So now we need to add the URL to the video that we want to advertise. This case, let me go here to my YouTube channel. Here we are, Diego da Vila on, on YouTube. Let's advertise this one, the complete Facebook retargeting course trailer. So by doing that, I am showing my trailer to these people. You see here, here we have an ad. Actually, let me jump this. And people are will, will be able to see this video, which is the trailer. And if they like, they will be able to click 
on the on the video and they will be driving I, I will drive them to my landing page okay excellent so let's go back here copy the url and paste the url here excellent here we have uh, Facebook retargeting course trailer Diego Davila 58 views excellent so now we have the video at format we have the in stream which is the one that they see on your video when they are watching videos on YouTube they will see this video before as an ad before the actual video that they want to see or you can choose also the video discovery ad which is this is an example so when somebody search on YouTube you will see your ad here and the in stream is this, you know, they can skip the ad if they want. Excellent. In stream is the one that we choose. The display URL is the URL that you they will be seen here on the bottom. So in this case, I will drive. Uh, I will say that the URL is diegodavila.com slash free course. And the final, this is just for display. This is not the actual URL where, where they are going. And the actual URL is this one, where you are driving your, your, your customers. In this case, I will drive them to diegodavila.com. Of course, you need to drive them to your landing page to take action because you don't want people clicking on your video, clicking on your ad. You are paying for that, but you drive them to a page where they have nothing to do. You want to drive them to a page where they can buy your products, enter their name and their email so you capture their information so you can follow up later. Okay. You have, uh, we have here advanced URL tracking. We are not using this for now. Companion banner, auto generate image for videos in your channel is recommended or you can upload your own image if you want. Okay, this is the image that it will be using, which is the automatic uh, image here on my specific video is the thumbnail. Or if you want, you can add your own image if you want. Okay. The bidding, you already know how this works. This is the recommendation, typical, typically uh, 5 cents to 20 y cent, 25, 21 cents. So let me add here 5, 6 cents. Next, we have the popularity video bid adjustment. You can say to YouTube how much uh, they can increase your bid in case the, the video gets popular. So if I say, for example, 20%, they give you an example here that if I spend uh, $10 on a bid, it will become $12. So 20% more of this number, which is at the top here. I will leave it this to zero right now. Targeting, you can target people for specific interests, specific areas. If you, if you click edit here, you can select the gender, age, parental status, uh, host house, income, if you want. Let me cancel this. And also the interest. This is important. I recommend you to select the interest of your target audience here. By doing that, you can, for example, say, okay, cooking, you can add there, there to the selected area of, in this case, I will search for Facebook. You can search to Facebook marketing. Let's see. Excellent. Here we have social media enthusiasts, business professionals. The, you get the idea. Save and click on done when you are ready and click on save ad group. Excellent. Now we have the ad ready here. You see that it's under review right now. This is the video title. How many impressions, views, view rate, average cost per view, and the total cost that you have. Okay. And you know how to add this, how to manage. You can pause if you want. You can see all the statistics here at the top. And this is how you create YouTube videos. We went a little bit faster on this one because I show you all the steps in the last videos. But I hope you get the idea. And this is powerful, guys. The, the results, most entrepreneurs, more, most small companies, they are not using uh, YouTube as a channel for ads. They are using Facebook, Google AdWords, but not specifically YouTube. And YouTube is powerful because people love video. And depending on the, the target audience you have, depending on the topic, the niche that you are, depending on your business, people will be, are, your customers for sure are on YouTube watching videos. So you have the chance right now to reach these people, to reach people all over the world telling them about your company, about your products with amazing videos. Okay. I hope you like this. I hope this is helpful for you. And after that, uh, I hope you implement this because it's not enough just to watch the videos. The real results come when you take action. So take action now, create your first YouTube video, your YouTube ad here on Google AdWords. And after that, we can continue with the course. See you there.